hello everybody welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome my name is Martina and if my regular viewers welcome back so today is another like another discussion of the day today right I've been watching a channel called pleasant green and it has been quite interesting now the niche of this channel um, I don't really know the name of the guy but the channel name like I said before is pleasant green now what he has his videos is basically about um, people being scammers right I don't know if you ever experienced that sort of thing but okay so let me get into the video to the discussion today now what really captured my attention um, and wanted me to this made me decide to do this video is that um, recently the last video that I watched was basically late the night before I went to sleep and stuff and the topic about the video was um, like I said before this gentleman does videos about um, people who are scammers right what he will do he would um normally you these people would approach him trying to scam him scam him for money scam him for money right and he will do like immediately he would know who are scammers right because most of the time they ask him for money so right away you would know they're scammers and stuff so what he'll do he'll try and like um, play along with them and then eventually um he'll find out exactly where they're located because most times they will tell you they are maybe in the USC and stuff and then when he finds out where they're actually located he will tell them hey I know you're a scammer and what you're saying is not true but blah 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 right so this particular um, video that I watched it really captured me and you know warmed my heart and stuff um, he was approached by this gentleman who I think he was basically asking him for assistance I think basically financial assistance or maybe if the person could if he could get a job that kind of thing online job so this gentleman, Pleasant Green, I think his name is Ben Rover. I don't know if that's his um, f fictitious name or if it's his real name. Dan, no, Ben Rover. Ben Rover, yes. Okay. So um, initially he thought this gentleman was a scammer. So he played along and everything with, with the gentleman. Um, I think his name is Joel. That name is also not is a fict fictitious name too as well. And um, he said, okay, I could offer you a job. Um, take a photograph. He said, no, he asked him, where do you live? What country are you living in? The person said, Liberia. So he said, well, why don't you take some pictures of maybe, maybe a sunset and stuff and send it back for me and I will pay you. So the person did that. Um, he had an inexpensive, cheap phone, not really those smartphones and stuff. So the photographs that he sent was, was really, really bad. <laughs> right? So what Ben Rover did, he sent him a, uh, maybe a cheap phone a cheap camera but even though it's cheap it was able to take good photographs and stuff so he sent a, um, a camera for Joel right in Liberia so um, Joel went ahead and took some really, some pictures and when he sent it back to Ben Ben was totally impressed with the photographs that Joel took right and but that put him in a position now because um, he's thinking that this person's a scammer and he really didn't expect to get anything good from this um, from Joel but the photographs that Joel sent was really really nice so what Ben did was he made like a picture book and stuff and actually what happened was um, Ben realized that okay now that this person sent me some pictures he kept up his part of the bargain he had now to pay Joel because he said he would pay for the photographs right so he made a picture book and he was able to get them sell the response was really really good and he got them he got them sold he got a good bit of the picture book sold so um, so what Ben did was he sent Joel $500 and he said, um, he told him that I'm going to send you another $500. That $500, what you need to do, um, donate it to charity in your area and stuff, right? So okay, fine. So Ben thought that nothing wouldn't, wouldn't happen out there, but he expected um, Joel to basically squander the money and you'll never hear anything from him, okay? So next thing, um, Ben, he got um, some pictures from Joel with Joel in the photographs, right? With some children with book bags, a whole bunch of children with book bags, school books and things like that. And apparently what Joel did what he was asked to do. He donated the money to, well, the money that um, Ben gave him, I think it was 500 US, um, to the schools, children to get their book bags and things like that. And Ben was totally impressed. I myself was impressed, right? And it kind of warmed my heart, you know, you know that kind of thing, you know? And um, 
that you was able to do that and he himself is in a poverty area and you know even though he got the money he could have taken the extra five hundred dollars for himself but he did what he what was asked of him right because apparently like five hundred dollars was like a, a whole year salary for the average person in Liberia right so um, he did that so Ben was so impressed that he made a trip and he went to Liberia he met Joel and stuff you know and they had a nice um, Visit, visiting session and stuff you know that was really really nice you know what I will do I'll leave a link to that video that I, I saw in the description box below so you can check it out and check out this um that video I'm talking about and you can see what I'm talking about okay so that was that part of the, the, the video that I saw about scammers and stuff so I think I'm going to talk about a little bit about these scam things um I just want to share you know that you got to be so careful especially online um, a lot of people are getting their Facebook um, accounts are being hacked and what they will do they will hack other people's accounts that may be inactive and they will try to contact people in that person's um, contact list and if you don't know they will ask you to send money let me give you a good example this happened to me a little while ago this is one reason I stop accepting um, friend requests, especially if I don't know you and stuff, okay? So, uh, my sister-in-law, she, I got a request, a friend request to my sister-in-law. Now, I know that she, she was already a friend, uh, my Facebook friend already. So, I found it strange, but I said, maybe she uh, opened a new account or whatever, and she had problems with the old account. So, I accepted the request. And, um, lo and behold, soon after I accepted the request, this person started to um communicate with me um frequently with them within, within that hour right and i said this is strange because my sister -in never did communicate with me like that you know she hardly communicates on facebook at that time she really wasn't into it she just had the account and everything so my 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 uh, my antenna my antenna went but i didn't say anything to the person at this time so i said okay let me just play along and stuff right so the person was saying that um they um, received this grant and stuff and if I was interested in getting this grant and they're so excited and stuff and um, they want to help me to get this grant and thing right so I said okay no problem and thing and then but I'm, I'm keeping my antenna up I was very very alert because I know I know most times when they do these things they'll ask you for money okay and what I will do when I when they ask, when they ask me for money I will say okay let's say you have to pay some fees and stuff I said I always ask them can these fees be deducted from the money you're going to send to me? And most times they say no. So when they say no, I know this is, this is not going to work off me because half the time I don't have the money anyway. But I know it's a scam. Anyway, my sister in law story now. She, um, my sister in law story. The person eventually now, when they said that um, they could help me with this brand and stuff, but I have to pay, I think it was $60 or whatever, I got, I got kind of fed up with the conversation. I said, listen to me. I know you're not my well actually I was messaging and typing and stuff right it was a, a messenger um, Facebook messenger I said I know you're not my sister no and um, I'm not interested in what you're offering please do not bother me again and I think I just any conversation I just blocked the post and that kind of thing I said really this is how they're doing it so I don't worry I like I said before I don't accept any friend requests on Facebook and unless I know you and even on Instagram I try to avoid it as much because sometimes I know that on Instagram too um, I don't know what they're up to, either if they're looking for love uh, or if they're, if they're trying to build up a conversation and then eventually you're going to try to scam you and stuff, you know, so I just, I don't really have time for that and I don't encourage it, you know, that kind of way, so like if I, uh, I see a YouTuber and I see their channel, if I see they have a, um, uh, Instagram page, I will communicate with them and tell them, okay, I'm, I'm following you and that way I will do it like that, but if any odd person tried to approach me for friend request I don't really accept it because of things like that right or what I've experienced before so I just want to for the time we're talking about that topic today discussion of the day and if you have any experiences leave comments leave your experiences in the comment section below I'd love to read what it is you experience and stuff and if you, have, if you have to share anything with the community share you know and just be aware guys on this online thing People try to scam you and if you're not aware you know you could get caught up in it and then there are a lot of like, like love scams too as well um these scammers try to express love and stuff um there are a lot of um videos too i've been watching too about that love scammers right they try to express love make you feel like they're so in love with you and stuff and after time they will ask you to send money send money and a lot of the elderly people they may most likely may be lonely and they, they think that the person may love them and stuff and they'll send money and lo and behold they realize after a period of time they may have sent so much money for them but um it's been advised that when you're doing these things um do 
like a video chat or chat with them so you can see who they are because sometimes they will have pictures of other people making you think that they are ex and they are somebody else right and well I don't really want to sound biased but most of the time videos I've been seeing so far is people from Nigeria not all people all Nigerians are scammers please know that I'm not saying that but it's out there and it's happening right um, and I guess there are people doing this thing all over the world so just be alert and um, don't send any money to people that you don't know be alert um, what you could do to like when I've been I've been doing to when I see things like this I will do a Google search for whatever name that they say they are and most times you'll find that um, it will come up like a scam so look out for that if you're in community um, ask somebody in your community I just bounced up a guy um, this week south and he was chatting offering a job or something okay but um, I was on, on the alert so what I did was I sent a message on um, our local um, community board and I asked do you know anybody does anybody know this particular person and I got a response right away that this guy um, hacked somebody somebody else account and is trying to um, offer these fake jobs um, a whole long story he wanted me to offer he was offering me a job to like go to like restaurants and stuff different businesses and see how they're performing and he's gonna pay me um, deposit money to my account I don't know how he's gonna make money from it I don't know I don't know but anyway I didn't bother with it any again so you know anyway thought I would share up with you today I hope you enjoy the content and um, I would love to know if you have any experience if you have to share anything on this topic okay guys thanks so much for watching take care bye